It is 21, 58 p.m. It is Sunday night, and I got a TV show review for Halo Season 1. So, if you're looking for an easy-ass review with no bullshit, no rhetoric, no... It's CW Woke here. You've come to the right place. So, I finished watching it. Here's my thoughts. Because I thought originally it was, like, going to be a 13-episode deal, but no, nah, just nine. Which ain't so bad. Oh, who's the professor? Jenkins hair looks good. Man, I did like the hair. Beautiful. Who is oh who's General Jin Ha? Quan is it is Jin Ha's daughter. It's a lot of shit I wrote down. Uh plus this helps me with next season when it comes back. Kara is one of Quan's friends. Madrigal is the galaxy's highest concentration of heavy hydrogen. Power ships and drugs alike. That's pretty wild. Okay, this is eight years before Halo Infinite since it's set in 2552. Yeah, I gotta know my timeline and shit. Trust me, that's what I don't know it. Quan wants to leave Madrigal and make a new life for herself. Like everybody else wants to do around here and shit. Some have, some don't. I want to do it, but it's like, oof. A lot of fucking money. And willpower. God damn, her friends got wiped out. Mm, wow. Damn, saying Heli attacking the base. They look good. They really did. It reminded me of the commercials for ODST back then. Yeah, Master Chief and all that shit. It was good stuff. Chiefs lead in Silver Team. Silver Team cleared the saying Heli threat. General Ha and the civilians are dead except his daughter. The first 18 minutes are pretty cool, but they could slow the pace a bit. The opening title is pretty dope, too. Yeah, that first 18 minutes was good, but man, that first episode, it was too fast-paced. Oof. I love the liquid mesh build-up to Chief's reveal. Yeah, that was really nice. Silver team is Vanek, Riz, Kai, and Chief. Their armor looks fucking amazing. I don't mind Chief's voice change, honestly. I really don't. I have no problem with that shit. A lot of people do, because they're diehard fans. The switch between first and third person is great. CGI was slightly spotty during the village massacre. Yeah, it was slightly, just tiny ass bit. <laughs> Quan followed Silver Team to the cave. Chief touched the artifact, unlocking a memory. A saying, Hilly Elite saw it and fled. Oh shit, reach! <laughs> Who's Miranda Keys? Good seeing Dr. Halsey. Did Halsey make a clone of herself? Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> Something else you can remember. I never, I haven't played the first two games, so I'm very behind on Halo. I haven't played a lot of it in a long time. Oh shit, hot charity. I only know some stuff from three and then the beginning of four and the visual guy that I own, which is in storage. Um, and the two movies as well. What else was there? Oh, yeah. Key. Oh, who's the blonde on High Charity? Keys' uniform looks crisp as fuck. That was a crisp uniform. Keys wants Quan to be a mouthpiece against the politicians who think the Spartan program is bad. Typical shit. <laughs> Keys also has some tight braids, too. Yeah, her braids were beautiful. Although, they, yeah, they were braids. I get braids and dreadlocks mixed up all the fucking time. Uh, Quan wants independence from Madrigal, and she's on her way to reach with Master Chief. Quan's hair is wild. Yeah, I like that style. Love the 3D render of Chief's body. I never noticed Chief's nose is almost like a bullring. Yeah, the helmet, it looks like a bullring. <laughs> uh, Miranda Keys heads the alien division of UNSC. Her dad ordered an Article 72 on Quan. Oh, now I get it. This is set before Chief took control of his life. Yeah. Shit, I'm slow on picking shit up, but once I get to do it. Oh, wow. John took his helmet off. <gasps> oh, no. He took his helmet off. Ah, this is not the real Halo. Oh. As every fanboy cries. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, he does look how I pictured him, and I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't. Uh, what is that artifact? Chief and Quan escaped to reach. That was an interesting pilot. I'm anxious for more. 
Damn, John back in 2530 looks haunted and his scars. Mm, so rough. Yeah, them scars. Oof. Even I have trouble accepting my own scars. Surgical, self-inflicted, and emotional. Yeah. Can't imagine how that must feel for him unless he's obdurate towards them. Who's Soren? Soren trying to get through to John shows he hasn't been fully converted to the programming. Soren highlighting that John's lost his humanity. That's pretty damn deep. Yeah, a lot of people have lost their humanity over what the fuck ever, whether it's from a war or rape or just no moral support whatsoever. And it's a bitch. Would you let a kid be executed? Hell yeah! Kill that little son of a bitch. <laughs> need more kid violence. People need to stop acting like they're innocent. Kids do some shit that warrants execution. You didn't pick up your toys? Kill the kid. Who gives a fuck? I will admit when I saw the opening last week, I thought John was black. I did. I thought he was. That would have made him more compelling with the right actor. And with that, I would have gone with um, Michael Jai White or um, not Michael B. Jordan. But yeah, Michael Jai White or um, shit, I cannot think of his fucking name. And I literally just saw him in something Weeks ago. I don't remember. Not Dennis Habert. No. I mean, he's got the voice. Definitely got the voice for that shit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's see here. Hey, Halsey's jacket looks nice. Yeah, the outfits in the show were amazing. Love them. Wonder what Halsey and Admiral Paragoski's plan is. Paragoski is the Indian chick. Man, I had to write that down. I get so confused on shit, and when it's a character-heavy show, I gotta have all the goddamn details. Vanek sounds like Vanek should. Yeah, just tone and all that. Ah! The, um... Rays from Underworld. That's who I was thinking of. Yeah, Rays would have been... Ooh, man. Ooh. ooh that would have been a good Master Chief. Yes. That deep ass voice and that stature, ooh, beautiful. That would have been nice. Although people would have probably bitched. Why is he black? Why is he got to be a black man? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because he fits the fucking role. Uh, Chief's flying skills are pretty damn cool, but where did they land? Ah, oh, they landed on the rubble. That was something else I didn't like. They did not name some of the locations. That really pisses me off. It grates me, because I hate that. I'm like, what's this place called? What is its name? I need to know these things. Like, ah, Reach. Okay, cool. What's this fucking asteroid? Ooh. <laughs> oh, brother. Reminds me of the Goblin Kingdom in Lauder. Oh, yeah! Rubble does. Yeah, that's right. John's bodysuit looks good. Vishner's governor of Madrigal. Halsey's smart introducing Cortana into the meeting on what to do about John. Smarter still in implicating Paragoski in case shit goes sideways. There's always a scapegoat. Or there's another scapegoat. Ooh, Vishner's executing people and I know him. <laughs> Wonder why John was surprised Soren had a family. Wonder if John will take the battle pellet out of his back. <laughs> the UNSC frigate stalwart Dawn looks amazing. Soren joking about no sudden moves with Ref. Classic line that's overused in the 90s. <laughs> no sudden moves. No sudden moves. No sudden moves. Don't you give me any sudden moves. Don't you give me any sudden moves. Oh my god. No sudden moves. I'm taking a shit. Oh. <laughs> You'll make it crawl back up. Stop it. <laughs> Where's a chick that's like that? Don't do that. I have to shit now. You'll make it crawl back up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. 
Uh, I do love churros. Yes, churros are the shit. And I recently discovered you can put chocolate inside churros. Like, nigga, what? Chocolate in my churro? I put butterscotch in that bitch, though. Butterscotch, hell yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, yeah, butterscotch whipped cream. Fuck. I don't have to fuck it then. <laughs> anyway, back to the program. Let's see. Ref is batshit crazy, but very layered. Yes. <laughs> is John a blessed one? Maybe. I don't know. He doesn't feel blessed. <laughs> John left Quan with Soren and on rubble, and he's going back to the UNSC. Damn, his ass got taken into custody. Uh, I like the Blessed One's attire and how it's a three-piece setup. That surprised me. That was good wardrobe building. Three-piece set? That's awesome. Because I thought for sure it was going to be like a multi-layered setup, but now it's just three pieces. That's beautiful. John and Halsey's chat in his cell was very manipulative on her end with steering away from what he saw while touching the artifact. He's still very naive, but running on autopilot. Yeah. Wonder what the scars were. <sighs> uh, on Blessed One's back. Come here. Much better episode than last week's. Yeah, much better. You know, I couldn't imagine being programmed to like certain things or not be able to taste... Or not be able to taste that has flavor. Wait a minute, that didn't sound right at all. You know, I couldn't imagine being programmed to like certain things. Or not be able to taste anything that had something that doesn't have flavor. Or not be able to taste flavor. That's right. That's what I meant to say. I must have been writing it when I was sleepy. That's, le <laughs> That's like compartmental hell. <laughs> no, thank you. Mm. I remember once I told my job coach on a resume, and this is true, true story, that I work well when my emotions are bottled up. True. This was late teens, early 20s, and I didn't see anything wrong with it. She did, though. Can't even remember the question that prompted my answer, but I've always been straightforward with everything. Looking back, I'm surprised she didn't notice I was autistic. Yeah. High intelligence does hide it, but I don't know. I kind of wish I had the battle pellet on my back so I could finish my writing properly without being distracted. Although I did experience full-blown quiet in my head a few weeks back, I didn't like that. Too scary. Like, I did a video on that. Fucked up. Oof. Wonder what's on planet Oban. Man, I'm liking debt getting beaten for kissing Maki. Yeah. Best kid violence ever. Yee. <laughs> I love kid violence. Fuck. Oh, if you think I like it just because I'm a sadistic fuck, well, I'm kind of sadistic, but no. There's not enough kid violence in film today. Everything's too goddamn PC. Fuck. Oh, you can't beat on children. That's wrong. Fuck that. I'm going to shoot that little son of a bitch in the ass. <laughs> I'm going to throw him down the steps. Both of them. All of them. Oh, Dolores Claiborne the shit out of them. <laughs> God. Oh, man. Like, you look at shit from the 80s, 90s, 2000s. Those, that 30-year period, there was so much kid violence. And now it's like there's nothing. <laughs> Or there's like some, like a child's possessed, like, ooh, give me a break. Or 70s to the to 2000s, 40. Oh, fuck. And yeah, Rosemary's Baby too. Anyway. <laughs> Wish they'd zoomed out, though, to show the death blows instead of keeping it close. Oh, yeah, they did zoom in. That's right, they zoomed in to hide the death blows. Uh, damn, Maki getting tased. Bitchin'! <laughs> Alright, that was Maki's origin. Cool. 
I do like her hair either way. Yeah, she had it long and then she had it short. So either way, I like it. Pretty sad that she only knows society from one book, though. Yeah. Halsey's clone's cool. Yeah. Man, a <laughs> dune getting pervy, getting pervy, rapey with Halsey's clone. More on that later. I didn't recognize Natasha McElhone. I know I fucked that up, whatever, at first, but wow, she looks so different with short hair. She really does. I'm so used to her with long hair from Californication. That's where I know her from. Damn, Cortana looks good. That was so awesome. So awesome. Oh, her coming to life. That was dope. Yeah, Quan wanting to go back home and fight shows she hasn't settled fully into rubble. Her standing up the storm was neat. Jonna interacting with Cortana for the first time was a rocky start to what'll be a deeper bond. Definitely. I do admire John's hesitation and disdain about working with Cortana. He's used to working with a squad or solo, so having a tag along in Cortana makes him feel hindered. Nah, I get that. Ugh. I'm like, I want to help you. No, bitch, go away. <laughs> When the Gladius scout ship comes upon Maki's derelict ship, it's an homage to Romulan Warbird and Warhammer 40k. Yep. Maki boarding the Gladius was wicked. Wonder what those worms were. Yeah, they didn't... I don't know what the fuck they were. Find out when the damn... Uh, art book comes out. Uh, uh, or the... Blu-ray release for the show. Uh, Quan being realistic to Soren's wife is deep. John's new memories surfacing are interesting. Kai125 saw Chief and Cortana cutting his pellet out. Oh, yeah, people were freaking out. Like, oh, no, Chief's bare ass. <gasps> Big fucking deal. So what? He showed his ass. Ooh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's really funny to me how everybody gets up in arms over nudity. And it's like, oh, wow, I've never seen a bare man's ass before in a show I like. <laughs> like, it's a fucking ass. You look at your ass every day. <laughs> it's not his ass. I want his ass. Well, let's go get plastic surgery, cunt. <laughs> Damn. Have them cut each cheek open and I'll shove a fucking implant in there. And if you're lucky and it's a fucked up implant deal, you can rotate the shit through the skin. Watch them videos. That's really fun. <laughs> God. Uh, watching Chief quietly analyzing his new experiences through new eyes is quite fascinating. I love that. The violinists were beautiful. Yeah, the, oh, I love violinists. John discovered his home on Iridan... Wait... Aradness too from another art artifact interaction and Halsey's going with him to find out what he uncovers. He finds his porn stash. <laughs> Quan trying to hotwire Soren's ship was funny. Good bargaining skills with the Tyrion, but Soren being a step ahead was getting paid for the bounty on her head in case shit goes south is smarter. Oh shit. <clears throat> Captain Jacob Keyes helping his daughter Miranda is so loving. Yeah, that was loving. UNSC smart in scrubbing their systems of info in case of capture. Yeah. That's fucking smart. Like, if you're the last man on board, you either implement full deletion or detonate an EMP. That wipes the whole goddamn system. Ah, uh, where are we at? Though I do wonder what part of the message they recover at Fleetcom. Yeah. Soren's taking Quan back to Madrigal to help fight Vinchner. That's a damn good episode. Yeah. The flashback to John and Silver's team, Silver Team's youth ties into Fall Reach film, which I need to review at some point. Yeah, I love Fall Reach. That was good. John experiencing anxiety for the first time. I wonder if that'll affect him further down the road. It did. Not very much, but it did. I like Soren's ship and how it calls back to aliens. Soren recounting how he lost his memories after escaping and the time frame it took him to regain them is staggering. 
Ugh. Like, just a little while ago. I remembered my, uh... One of my good friends, Liv, who died from a seizure in her bathtub. Man, it was so fucked. But I remembered all the good memories we had on the phone, and she actually sent me a birthday card one year. Yeah, she died. Slipped, broke her neck. Fucking sucks. <sighs> Bummer. Where are we at? Reminds me when I won... Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me when I lost my core identity after the RP war on all poetry. Oof. I did a two-part bit on that shit. Took me three years to rebuild myself. Shit. Kai cut her pellet out. Why didn't she show her ass? She showed them shoulders, though. Damn motherfucking shoulders. Offensive shoulders. She needs to cover them up. I'll kill her. You know how people, they get so pissy about the dumbest shit. Bare shoulders, bare ass, and the worst is yet to come. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Wonder what, oh, wait. Ah, the helmet on the hip. That's an homage to Halo 3, I think. I remembered some of that shit because I'd watched, well, no, I played the games, but I vaguely remember different bits and pieces from commercials and shit and posters. Wonder what John buried. Oh, oh, oh. Magical looks like a street vendor market. Kai dyed her hair with red streaks. I do like Halsey's jacket. Halsey had the best fucking wardrobe. I'm sorry. Her wardrobe was fucking epic. I loved it. John dug up the box of his drawings from when he was a kid. The woman singing reminds me of Pacific Rim in some way. I don't know how. But... Quan calling Agatha out for betraying what her father stood for. That's heavy. It's also felt predictable. I do feel the hopeless factor in Quan finding out that her ghost kingdom fantasy of the rebellion fighting against Minchner was crushed. Yeah, that was really rough. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, it's adolescent ideation that she that she thought they would keep fighting and win. Yeah. Kai pointing. Ooh, shit. Kai pointing Miranda Keys' perception of the Spartans... Oh, pointing out Miranda Keys' perception of the Spartans is true. Cortana replaying John's memories of his home is truly amazing. I love that. Wow, John touched another artifact when he was younger, and his dog's name is Ellie. Halsey had a coin toss with him when he was young, too. Whoa, the needler is huge. This shit. Mm. Man, the weapons have been off-scale all these years. I feel robbed. Because you play Halo and the motherfucker's like standard size. Like, where are you? Come here. <laughs> this is the Needler. In-game Needler. That's not how big it is. It's bigger. <laughs> it's the size of a fucking fan. Christ. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so mad. You can tell Keys has never left her lab by how she reacts to the Spartans' banter. Easily. It's cool the Spartans know saying heli words to help out Keys. Soren's right, though. There are no more heroes. Literally. Who's Franco? Yeah, who the fuck was Franco? Mm -hmm. Ventner and Franco's meeting felt like a true cutscene. Yeah, it really did. Kai divulging details on hers, Eloise, and Vanek's pets being killed off while studying Wolfpack strategy is deep. I like Wolfpack strategy, by the way. Also highlights Keys' neophyte mind. Aunt Sujin's right about money. When shit runs out, people will abandon you. Easily. You don't believe me? Try it. It's sad seeing Quan desperately cling to her fractured ghost kingdom. Eh, that's really fucked up, but... Damn, Franco slit Aunt Sujin's throat. No, not Aunt Sujin. <sighs> Wonder what the desert mystics told Quan's father. Nah, I don't know. You need to... I don't know. The spice must flow. Wait, wrong fandom. <laughs> oh, God. Sucks Soren lost his ship. The second object's on Eridanus. There we go. Uh, Keys revealing Halsey's POV on humans is very telling. Yeah. Ooh, more on that later.
Warthog looks gorgeous. I love that fucking thing. I own the Halo Reach Warthog, actually. I love that damn thing. Chief found a second artifact. Wonder what it is. Exactly. Oh, fuck my life. Mm. I'm not this tired. I'm just, I'm really not. Because I'm not fully up to date on all the tech from Halo. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> the Reach for Life program is neat. Cap, Halsey and Captain Keys came upon John at the program. Cortana's hair looks outstanding. Yeah, I really did like how she's designed. It's beautiful. Captain Keys believing in his daughter's capabilities with her new team should prove good for character development. Yeah. <laughs> Soren. <laughs> Soren cuffed Kwan to the bike and she fucked up by throwing a water canteen. <laughs> Dumb bitch. Damn, Miranda getting ignored by Halsey. That's fucked. Oh, I hate that. Oh. I do love how Vanek sounds like Michael Clark Duncan. Yeah, he does a little bit. Also surprised the artifact didn't react to Kai's touch. I was surprised about that. Chief grounding Kai after finding out she removed her pellet is kind of double standard, but also smart. Because who knows how she react should a firefight break out. More on that later. <laughs> the way he's going... Yeah, the way he's going, same thing applies to him, but he's more grounded on it. Because he's been in the field more. It's good that Kai stood up for herself. Definitely. Mackie and her group are searching for traces of the Keystone. Quan freed herself from the bike. The adoration in Chief's eyes when he tells Captain Keys is so sincere. So beautiful. He sees him as a father figure, not just commanding officer. But you can tell Captain Keys is hiding some shit from him. That nigga hiding some shit. Yes, he is. <laughs> the interaction between Halsey, Margaret, and Captain Keys feels like it was trimmed down. Yeah. And there were so many cuts to it. Like, fuck. What all was cut out? The artifact is free from its encasement. Damn, the schism between the Keys family is rough. That was really rough. Oof. Uh, holy shit. Chief was going to deck Halsey, but Cortana shut his ass down. Mm -mm -mm. Holy hell. Quante Soren. Covenant found the UNSC and took the Pioneer. Took down the Pioneer. The artifact battle was straight up badass. I love the damn Chief Curbs don't that fucker good. I creamed watching that. Big old sticky mess. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, gravity hammer. Love that fucking thing. I used to roll with that thing in... Oh, what the hell was that damn mode? Um... The one with the ball. I can't fucking remember. Yeah, I dominated with that fucking thing. That bitch dropped. I had that and I raped. Oh, I raped so hard with that hammer. <laughs> I was untouchable. Ooh. Damn. Oh, wait. No. Ah, oh, why did Maki have herself get dropped off? Is Kai going to be okay? The opening for Solace with Chief's facial ticks. Mesmerizing and deep. Man, I love that. Them ticks were, ooh, wow. He's going through alexithymia and sensory overload. I can definitely feel the Neil Blancom vibes in this episode. Yeah. Damn, John testing Cortana's limits by locking Halsey in the lab to be liquefied. That's pretty Halsey. <laughs> that was a brilliant, tense combo between John and Mackie. Damn, Halsey justifying her machinations on kidnapping kids from their homes and replacing them with clones shows how limitless her intentions are. Oh, I will also say on John and Mackie's interaction, if it happened in 2007, like Blonde Comp planned, guaranteed they would have picked some random hot blonde or whoever and had her nude or semi purely for gratification. No. I mean, it's t it would have been 2007. <laughs> so glad that trope is over with. Oh, God, I hated that trope. So, so fucking dumb. Oh, I hate it. But she was naked in the show. Like, no shit. But it wasn't gratuitous. There's a difference. You should know the angles by now. Know what's gratuitous and not. It's not. If it's a far shot, that's not gratuitous. It's up in your fucking face. That's gratuitous. M my nose. Gratuitous. Mm -hmm. Far away from my nose. Not gratuitous. Uh, what else? 
I like the hollow chairs. Those were dope. Everything in the show was cool. Glad Kai survived. Damn, Margaret had Halsey kicked out and promoted Miranda ahead of Spartan program. Halsey and Alden are sequestered with Halsey hoping Cortana escapes Fleetcom Network. Yay, Spartan laser. <laughs> Miranda torn the Spartan lab is so surreal because, you know, she's big time now. What did Halsey do to Miranda with the contact lens? Yeah, I did not understand that. And I was like, ooh, fun. Ah, uh, what else? John and Mackie share the same genome. Cortana got the Halsey. Ooh, Mackie's Irish. I picked up on that dialect. The halo ring! Ah, oh, pretty. Also, if John and Mackie found the halo ring in 2007, they would have had a kissing scene. How cliche that is. Ugh. So goddamn cliche. If the Halo film had been made following this series' format, it would have been an underrated gem in the vid game movie genre. Easily. I remember the ODST commercials, and those looked excellent for 2009. Oh, they were so good. And that was on the cusp of 2010. Like, damn. Would there have been an extended cut? Possibly. I would guesstimate the length would have been 117 minutes is homage to Master Chief or longer. It would have been a hell of a deal since it'd be capitalizing on Halo 3's success and ODST two years later. Yeah, because 3 came out in 2007, and then two years later, that would have been more fun. Silas definitely has Blonde Comp's feel, I guess, and I think this is my fave episode, which is odd to me. Yeah, very odd. Also, John's flashback memories were visceral. Damn, tension between Quan and her daddy. Mm. Sad that two years later, he'd be dead. Bum. Quan's traveling into a sandstorm and got captured. Sword and story was pretty good, but where's his armor at? Oh, wow, Quan found the mystics. Yay! Vishner's monologue in the truck was beautiful. How did Soren get back to rubble? Still don't fucking know that. Little Squirrel wants to jack military grade slip space tech off a of UNSC cargo ship, and Soren's game for that. <laughs> ah, Soren's got his armor back on. Wonder where it was. <laughs> Quan's gonna fight Vision Quest Chief, and man, she gets her ass kicked. The fight was all about irresistible force versus immovable object metaphorical question. They surrender. Quan Ha's ancestors transition to her daddy was really cool. That that was beautiful flow walking. I like that. Was that Guilty Spark at the well? Maybe. I don't know. Something. <laughs> Wonder what the portal has. Quan's dad quoting Sun Tzu. Yes. Love Sun Tzu. Also, I covered that comic on my channel. Oh, where does Quan have to go? Nowhere. Also, she's a protector now. Yay, I'm protected. <laughs> Damn, Soren, double-crossed little squirrel. Ah, Quan went back to the outpost. Vishner killed Agatha and found Quan at the outpost. Damn, Quan blew the pipeline with John's rifle they left behind, killing Vishner and his crew. So yeah, Madrigal's fate's in the balance, too, now. Um, where are we at? Quan keeps her debt promise to Soren. Where are John and Maki going? John's health is improving being around Maki. That's really cool, though, how they're bonded. Maki seeing Reach through new eyes after being around the Covenant for decades is captivating. Oh, oh, oh motherfucker. Mm. Frolicking in the park. <laughs> Funny. John and Maki under the cherry blossoms looks wondrous. I love that tree, actually. The Covenant wiped out Tellum, Agade, and Criterion. Ooh, Cole Protocol. Mm. I love Cole Protocol. I didn't read the book, but I saw the animated short for On Legends. That was really good. I know that story from Halo Legends. <laughs> Kai's a straight beast lifting that ward hog. I'm like, oof. Daddy Key still loves his daughter and has faith in her while they bonded over Explaining the San Heli voice issues. Oh wow, Chief found Maki's book in the archives. Seeing Chief and Maki kiss, I wonder what that's like, honestly. Nah, I do. 
Last time I was kissed was five years ago, and that was out of lust. Last time it was love, I don't fucking remember. It's been so many years that I don't even know what love is. And I'm in a committed relationship. But I know what it is, but sometimes it doesn't click. I guess I'll go with Crystal since that's a safe place in time since I got to kiss her for the first time since I knew her and that was in 2013. Am I upset over Chief and Maki bumping uglies? Nah. Was it necessary? I don't know. It was very tame and sensual versus the usual fucking you'd see. I like that. I like the tame, sensual shit. Pretty cool how John and Maki are biochemically synced. I know a lot of people are like, oh god, she had sex. Funny. So damn funny. Not more on that. Oh, uh, let's see here. Cortana experiencing what John did. That's a lot for an AI to process firsthand. Yeah. Halsey's also right about how John wasn't alone because he had her, but then again, she's worried about that notion. Yeah. Damn, Halsey's hell-bent on extreme futurism, and that's never an easy thing to focus on. But she's willing to sacrifice it all to safeguard the present. What? Miranda Keys is Halsey and, Ka- Halsey and Captain Keys' is kid? Oh, I never did not, did not know that. <laughs> Still surprised. Maki took her fingernail blade out. That was some cool shit. Halsey tried to convince Maki, I'm a motherfucker, come on. I'm not really tired. I was in the sun all day, so yeah, I guess I am tired, but I'm more energetic as hell. Convinced her to bring the artifact, but she wasn't having it. No, she wouldn't bring that shit. No shit. Halsey invoked Zed Protocol, taking control of the Spartans, and had Kai incapacitated by Riz and Vanek. Chief fending off Riz and Vanek with Cortana's help. Maki is with Margaret and Captain Keys. Miranda Keys discovered that Maki is the voice in the distortion. Damn, that was a good fight with Chief versus Riz and Vanek. Yeah, good fights this season. They really did. Mm. Shame it wasn't longer when Kai showed up. Yeah, it was cut short. Maki touched the artifact, burning the military cop in the process. So now he's going to be Scarface. <laughs> Call him Two Face. <laughs> oh god. John's on Halo and unconscious in the training room area with the other Spartans. Uh, hold on a second. There we go. That's better. Turn my fan off. Oh, now I'll be alright. <laughs> What's really funny as I'm finding out is that incels are mad about Master Chief kissing. <laughs> Seriously? You're going to get mad over a fictional character. Get into first base and you can't? (laughs) Oh, God. I wonder if some dumbass made a petition to Bungie or Paramount to reverse the kiss and fucking solely so they can feel better about themselves. (laughs) The sheer mediocrity makes me... <laughs> oh god, man, base got fucked up in the explosion. Mm-mm. Them incels though. Oh my god. Woof. <sighs> I wanna kiss Maki. Make it non Now Bungie, do it. <laughs> Oh, man. That's so retarded. God. I wanted to kiss Chief. (laughs) Oh, anyway. (laughs) Chief looks ragged as hell. Vanek being culture shocked from Captain Key's revelation was a very tense moment. Deeper still for Miranda as she heard the truth about the Spartans being abducted. Maki escaped on the Phantom with the artifact. Kai breached Halsey's ship. Only Halsey escaped, but Kai killed Adun. Man, that was dope. Kai wanting to know her real name instead of the usual why'd you take me trope stands out for me, but I can understand that. 
Kai knowing her real name allows her to reground herself and discover who she was. Kai survived Hall's and ship crash. Asperos has several several gravitational fields. Admiral Perengot Gorski's right about going into battle. John relying on his emotions would get Silver Team killed. Being obdurate Master Chief will get them out alive. Halsey crashed in Manassas and will be in custody. Captain Keyes' apology to Chief felt sincere, but Chief's also right that a reckoning will come for them all. It truly felt sincere in Keyes' tone as well. Yeah. He realizes just how fucked being a secret keeper is. I hate being a secret keeper. I fucking hate it. Ugh. Ugh. Cock-sucking secret keepers. Ugh. Oh, let's see. Where the hell am I? I just lost my face. Oh, there you are. <laughs> so much paragraphs. Ah. Uh, Ah, he realized. Oh, don't. it ruins trust between family and comrades easily. Silver Team heads out for Asperos. Halsey's captured. Maki delivered the relics to the Covenant. Gotta say, wherever Maki and the Covenant are, it looks like something out of a PS1 cutscene. I mean that in a good way, not like it looks like PS1 cutscene. Bunch of garbage. This show sucks. Ugh. No, it just looks like a PS1 cutscene. <laughs> it's beautiful yet mysterious, but also vintage in a way. Yeah. Cortana candidly telling John what Halsey was going to have her do shows she wants to build honesty between them. Uh, spaghettified. <laughs> it is interesting how navigating multiple gravitational fields can be. That's an homage back to TNG with the episode Cause and Effect, not to mention... Other Trek episodes involving the same dynamic. Son of a bitch. <laughs> we still going home. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, wow. Silver Team made it to the Covenant world. That was a good interstellar traveler. Travel. Damn, Halsey's getting Article 72. And I'm sitting there like, what the fuck is Article 72? <laughs> Is she gonna get killed? Damn, Halsey got beat on and he didn't show it. That's a shame. Yeah, we can't have women getting beat on. Men, though, that's totally cool, but women, no, can't beat on women. Can't beat on kids. Can't beat on animals. <sighs> Give me all the violence I like. <laughs> oh. Miranda being Halsey's daughter should have been expanded on more. It's a key part of the fucking story. It really should have been. Sucks they downplayed it, but it's understandable since their focus is on Chief and the Halo Rings. At least there's the games, encyclopedias, and books to fall back on. True. For those of you saying it's not Halo, get a life. Without fail, get a life. Holy shit, Halsey sent... Her clone in. So where the fuck is she at? I don't know. Somewhere. Love the mag lock for weps on their back. Very fucking smart. I love that. Damn. Silver Team versus the Sanghili is cool as fuck. Love it. Maki activated the artifact showing Halo's location, but it's incomplete. Maki's dead by Kai's pistol, which freed John from being tied to the artifact. Jesus. John let Cortana take over so the team and artifacts could be saved. That was deep on him willing to sacrifice self-control over to her. Man, that was pretty deep. So that was the first layer of trust they built together. Pretty cool. Halsey's alive, but where? That's a nice coat she's got on. Again, bitching wardrobe. Halsey's dogmatic diet monologue about humans achieving transcendence is inspiring yet terrifying. I loved it. I do share some of her beliefs, but not all. I think we had the transcendent ability beforehand, but lost it somehow. I do. I also believe that we're able to venture into parallel universes, and we've probably said the password to get into numerous, in numerous times, but it's forgotten. 
with all the theories on evolution, there's got to be one that's been overlooked or remains undiscovered until we hit a certain pinnacle in our culture. I do believe that. I really, truly do. Will humankind hit the peak set in Halo, though? Only time will tell. How was the first season overall? It had a rough start in the pilot, but eventually panned out properly. Yeah, the pilot was kind of fast. I don't like that. I like fast-paced, but... Eh, take your time. Did it have a good season finale? I think so. I do. It does lead to a foreboding precursor for what season two holds. Is the series good for newcomers? Yeah. If they never played the games or read the books, it's a good starting point. Plus, some people don't have the time or patience to play an intricate game such as Halo. It might be a genre-defining shooter, but not everyone is going to pay attention to the lore within the dialogue or collectibles. That's a lot to pay attention to. I love the cast. Pablo is great as Master Chief. That surprised the shit out of me. <laughs> I hope there's more on Soren and Quan. Also, where Halsey went to. Also, more evolution on Soren and Quan would be nice. Uh, Silver Team's cool. Wonder if Vanek and Riz will cut their pellets out. Maybe they'll do it naked. I like, got you. I got you too. I'm going to cut your back now. Cut yours too. Whoa, we feel stuff. I feel stuff too. Funny. Uh, will John regain control of his body? Wonder how that'll affect him mentally. Some big shit. The amount of detail that went into the series is phenomenal. It, you can't over you can't overlook that. It's so good. Ugh. Can't deny that no matter how much you hate it. Wonder what the great journey is. I don't know. My great to me the great journey is going to take a shit. I'm going on the great journey. Come with me. Bring TP. <laughs> <laughs> Who's underrated so far? Miranda Keys, Kai, Cortana, Adon. Who's the MVP in Season 1? Halsey followed by Chief. Am I anxious for Season 2? Yeah, but not on the high-end factor of things. That'll happen when the trailer drops for it. Who could have had more story but didn't? Adon. Easily. The way he perved out with Halsey's clone, shame there wasn't more on that. <laughs> I mean, seriously. If there was more on him being a perv with her clone, Jesus Christ, that would have been beautiful. Like, oh, Halsey's clone. Oh, oh. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> For me, the first season is a solid 7.5 out of 10. It's good, but not full-blown epic yet. Like, it, it's going to take a while for this to build up properly and get, you know, near, like, a 9 status or so. So, yeah. Halo the Seer Halo Season 1. That was fun. I liked it. It was good. It introduced new characters. It introduced everybody, well, a whole new generation to the Halo universe itself. Um, what else was there? So much good shit. The amount of detail and work that went into it. Loved it. Uh, would I recommend it to you and friends? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're a diehard Halo fan and you want more on it, well, something to check out. And I know a lot of you diehards out there are like, it's not real Halo. You're not a true Halo fan. If you watch this shit, it's garbage. <sighs> Yet you're going to sit there and watch it and bitch about it. You must be a real fan. <laughs> um, What else? Uh, if you don't like the cast, the crew, the amount of people that went into the wardrobe department and building department, ain't for you. But if you do, you will have a wonderful time enjoying the aesthetic of this show, for sure. Is it going to be a defining series for the 20s? Yeah, 
I think so. I think it'll stand right alongside uh, Westworld. What all came out? Yeah, Westworld. There's something else that came out. I don't remember. I've watched so much shit this year. I can't keep track. But yeah, it'll stand alongside Westworld for now. <laughs> oh, Star Trek card. I got that. Uh, where else? Um, if you don't like Halo at all, that's okay. I get you. I really do. No. Not everybody's into famous shooter franchises like Todd, Gears, Halo, Medal of Honor. What was the other fucking thing? I can't remember. Oh, Tom Clancy. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't like sh uh, shooter genre adaptations, it's not for you. But if you do, you can check it out. So... I will be back when the fuck ever. Till next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.